today I'm going to fix a um, crawfish and chicken fettuccine. These are the noodles I'm using here. And I, I'm i using these because Kroger had these I think at one time. I got them for like 49 cents. We're using Rotel tomatoes, the ragu, classic alfredo, and the double cheddar. I don't know if I'm going to use this or not. I may use some of it, but not all of it. A little Parmesan cheese. Here are my crawfish. I got these on. They were $5. And here is my Italian cheese. And here is just a uh, chicken breast and a strip that I seasoned. Um, and I placed in the oven and baked them. And so I've just cubed them and they're done. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to saute my vegetables in some butter. And then I'll add these three items. And I'll add these. I'm getting ready to boil these. And I'll add the meat and the cheese to it and that'll be it. I'll come back and show you. Okay, so here what I've done. This is basically how I start all of my dishes though. Actually, here I have... Um, Three toes of garlic, about a fourth of an onion, um, fourth of a bell pepper, and a fourth of a thing of green onion. So to that, I'm going to add a little kosher salt, a little pepper, and I don't have any fresh, so I'm going to add just a little parsley flakes. That really looks like just not very much. So I'm going to get some more of that. Okay. So we're going to saute this for a second. Let it sweat. We'll be back. Okay. So to this we're going to add um, the ragu. This is um, I, I like the Bertoli Bertoli virtually whatever but you get them three in a thing at Sam's for five but I didn't go to Sam's so I just got this is a good substitute actually so I'm going to use all of this we're going to use I usually use cream of mushroom I didn't tell you about that but this time I don't have it I'm going to use cream of chicken if I would just be using chicken I wouldn't do this but because I'm doing the crawfish when you do the crawfish you have to have some kind of uh, maybe a little thicker sauce we're going to add this and we're going to cook this for a minute. Oh, along, excuse me, along with the can of Rotel tomatoes. Okay, so to this I have added um, the Alfredo, the Rotel, a little of the four cheese. I had about an eighth of a block of Velveeta. I put that in there along with the cube chicken I had and the crawfish. And I also put the can of cream of chicken. Did I say that? Okay. So here is what it looks like. And I haven't added anything else to it. Now, what your cream of chicken or whatever does is make this more creamier. If I wouldn't have a cream of chicken, it would be a little watier. More watier. More watery. So we're just going to let this simmer until our pasta gets finished. And then we're going to add this together. Put it in the oven. Okay, now we put the noodles. I have a um, pound of noodles. Rotini noodles I've added. And they're not all the way done. They're about mm, 75% of the way. But remember, we're going to bake this in the oven. So I don't want it to get mushy. Okay, so we've added this together. Now... We're going to add some of our Italian fried cheese to this. And this is kind of cold, so this is going to bring the temperature down some. And then we're going to leave the rest to go on top. Just going to add some of this to it. And since we've added another ingredient, we need to taste this to see if we, what we need to add to it. Okay. 
So let me get something so I can taste it. catch one of these noodles because I want to see what that did to the flavor. I see to add a little more spice to it. Okay, I'm going to kick it up a little bit. A little more Tony's, not very much. Some black pepper. A little more garlic. Just adding another layer of flavor, that's all. Not a whole, whole lot. And something I'm going to put in here is a little cayenne pepper. So now we're going to add this into our baking dish. And we're going to bake this on about 350 for about 25 minutes. Okay. Sorry about that, y'all. My eyes are started burning. We got some more seasoning down in here. Get all that out. And add that to it. Okay, we're going to add just some Parmesan cheese. And these cheeses were actually in the freezer. I had a store here that had them. If you buy eight, they were 99 cents each. So, I bought probably about 16 because, you know, they're usually almost $3 each. And I just put them in the freezer and take them out the morning of the day I'm going to pre prepare dinner. And uh, that's when I stock up on my cheeses. And here's the outside on top. I don't need a whole whole bunch of cheese. I do love cheese, but I got that some of that ragu cheese. I have the Velveeta. So this is actually gonna be enough. Okay, let's bake it on 350 for about 20 to 25 minutes. The cheese will be melted. You let it sit. So I have some um, smoked paprika. I don't have a lot of parsley flakes, but I do have some. Let's put some parsley on there. Let me get some more of this, because that is all of that. And let's put a little smoked paprika on it. Okay, and so let's put this in the oven. Okay, so here is the finished Crawfish chicken fettuccine Alfredo. Okay, so I'm gonna fix up a little of this. See, a real creamy.
Okay, here it is. <coughs> Excuse me. Here it is. Let's taste it and see what it tastes like. See that cheese is kind of sounds like a piece of crawfish right there. Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. Very good. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah.